Electronic Visit Verification An Introduction Before we begin, throughout this video, we will refer to different online resources. Please note that all links mentioned are in the Show More section below the video. What is EVV? The Federal 21st Century Cures Act requires electronic visit verification or EVV for certain Medicaid-funded services. EVV is a way of electronically verifying your check-in and check-out times as a worker in your program. EVV is required if you provide personal care or routine supportive home care services in the IRIS or family care programs. Do I still have to submit timesheets? Yes, timesheets are still necessary to process payment and can be submitted in any of the current methods. EVV is an additional step required to validate timesheet information for personal care services and routine supportive home care services. Who should use EVV? Workers providing personal care services or routine supportive home care are required to use EVV in addition to submitting timesheets. Personal care services per 15 minutes. Personal care services per day. Supportive home care per 15 minutes. Supportive home care per day. Service codes T1019 and S5125 will be paid at an hourly wage. Please note, live-in workers may be exempt from EVV. IRIS live-in workers. For IRIS, please complete and return the IRIS Participant Hired Worker Relationship Identification Form to the IRIS Consultant or to iLife if you meet the definition of a live-in worker. Please be sure to include the requested proof of residence. To view this form in English or other languages, please visit the link in the video description. Family Care Live-In Workers For family care, please complete and return the Electronic Visit Verification Live-In Worker Identification Form to iLife if you meet the definition for a live-in worker. Please be sure to include the requested proof of residence. To view this form in English or other languages, please visit the link in the video description. When is EVV required? On November 2, 2020, the Wisconsin Department of Health Services began requiring EVV for Medicaid-covered personal care services for IRIS and family care, and supportive home care services for family care. This date also marks the soft launch period of EVV led by DHS. The soft launch offers time and support for clients, workers, and others to learn the new process. As of January 1, 2021, EVV is required in the IRIS program for supportive home care services. DHS announced the hard launch date of May 1, 2023. This is when the EVV policy will begin. Details about EVV policy can be found in the video description. For questions or comments regarding the hard launch timeline or policy, please contact DHS EVV Customer Care at 833-931-2035. For DHS EVV email support and general EVV information, the links can be found below. For more information, go to the Wisconsin Department of Health Services EVV webpage. You can use the left menu items on the page for specific content. The DHS EVV webpage can be found in the video description. For questions or comments regarding EVV policy, please contact DHS. DHS EVV Customer Care at 833-931-2035. The DHS EVV email support can be found in the video description. Getting started with EVV. iLife will provide the worker with the required ID numbers, 
which will allow them to log their EVV visits. The worker's most up-to-date email address and live-in status are required. This email address is where workers will receive important information on EVV, including EVV ID information necessary to log EVV visits. This email address is also where they will receive the automated SAN data email to set up their SAN data mobile connect account if they qualify for EVV. Please note that the email address will be the username. Email must be unique to a single worker. It cannot be shared by multiple workers. You can submit your email address electronically by using our email address submission form located in the video description or by calling iLife at Iris Customer Service 855-511-6400. Or Family Care Customer Service 888 490 3966. Next, workers will need to get their EVV IDs. There are three IDs that they will need to know Worker EVV ID, also known as Santrax ID, Client EVV ID, and last, iLife's Company EVV ID. Workers will receive a mailed letter from iLife containing all necessary EVV ID information, including their Santrax ID, client EVV ID, company ID, and toll-free phone numbers for logging TVV and FVV visits. You can also call iLife's customer service to obtain this information. 855-511 6443 for Iris Customer Service, 888-490-3966 for Family Care Customer Service. Note that iLife's company ID is 2-91496. The worker may need to enter the company ID each visit if they are employed by more than one provider agency. Please be sure to have your EVV ID information accessible when working to ensure your visits are logged correctly. Some ideas for how to do this are keep them saved in the notes section of your mobile device, keep them written down and stored in your wallet, purse, work bag, etc. Have them written down in a safe location at your client's service locations. Next, determine which EVV options you will use. We will provide information on the three different EVV options available so you can work with your client to select the one that will work best for you. Note that you can use a combination of both mobile visit verification and telephonic visit verification. Fixed visit verification is available as a combination with telephonic visit verification in some instances. Mobile Visit Verification Send Data Mobile Connect is the software application being used for electronic visit verification. The worker will be able to check in and check out for their visits for the services provided during that time. The Mobile Visit Verification is currently the preferred and recommended option for EVV. It is available on both iOS and Android devices. MVV is best recommended for workers who have smartphones or tablets or for employers who have smartphones or tablets that the workers can use to check in and check out of EVV. Note that MVV can be used alongside telephonic visit verification if the technology for both options is available for the worker. Telephonic visit verification. Telephonic visit verification uses the client's landline to check in and out. The worker will call iLife's toll-free TVV phone number to start and end their day. TVV is recommended if using the mobile visit verification is not an option. TVV is best recommended for employers who have a traditional phone or landline. Note that TVV can be used alongside mobile visit verification and fixed visit verification if the technology for both options is available for the worker. 
Fixed Visit Verification. Fixed Visit Verification uses a small device that stays at the client's home. The device provides a six-digit verification number for the check-in and check-out times. The worker will then have to call iLife's toll-free TVV phone number and enter the six-digit codes. Please note FVV is only available if MVV and TVV are not options and is considered the last resort. To confirm whether you qualify for FVV, IRIS participants should call iLife at 855 511-6443 or talk to your IRIS consultant to ensure you meet the requirements or send us an email at iris.evv at ilife.org. For Inclusa and My Choice Wisconsin employers, please call iLife at 888-490-3966 or send us an email at fc.evv at ilife.org. Finally, watch the training video for the EVV option that has been chosen. Training videos and guides for MVV, TVV, and FVV can be found in the video description below. If you have any questions or need additional information regarding what you have seen on this video, please contact iLife or use any of the following resources. IRIS Customer Service 855-511-6443 Email at iris.evv at ilife.org For Family Care Customer Service 888-490-3966 or by email at fc.evv at ilife.org iLife EVV information and training material can be found in the video description below. For additional EVV information and assistance provided by DHS, please use any of the following resources. DHS EVV Customer Care, 833-931-2035. DHS EVV email support, general information, and additional EVV training can be found in the video description below. Who to contact? iLife EVV support line by phone 855-511-6443 or by email iris.evv at iLife.org. Resetting passwords. Unlocking SMC account, workers asking how to get set up for EVV, FVV orders, returns, and replacements. Adding additional addresses, note for IRIS to change a participant's permanent mailing address. Please work directly with your IRIS consultant. Vendor has a question for daily claims or span billing. Contact DHS EVV Customer Care by phone at 833-931-2035 or by email at vdxc, contact evv at wisconsin.gov. Anytime technical issues, such as getting an error message, username does not exist, there is no FVV registered, etc. Vendor has a question about getting set up for EVV. Note DHS will walk the vendor through their option for selecting an EVV vendor, state provided or choosing their own, and working with an aggregator. As a reminder, please note that all links mentioned in the video are in the show more section below. Thank you for contacting iLife, your fiscal employer agent.